The main thing that surprised me is um, the actual data that we've collected and how serious a problem potable or drinking water is going to be in the future and also the flooding. If we can, after our time here, be able to actually make some recommendations or provide some sort of valuable insights that could be used in the future would be like a really big achievement I think for all of us. So we've been back in Melbourne now for about three and a half months, I think, um, and the report was submitted about eight weeks after returning to Melbourne, um, and now it's all, yeah, it's all completed. Um, a lot of the things that we realised over there was that uh, people didn't understand the issue, that potable water is an issue there, because the city's surrounded by water. It's just not drinking water. A lot of us kind of got stuck on Vietnam being that developing country, poor, rural, when in actual fact we found that it is developing that fast that there's actually a lot of um, higher income communities as well there. So we had to think about how they could actually influence the poorer communities and how they could make a difference and that sort of flow on effect. It's just just a massive challenge. Like it's So you're, you're in there, you're feeling it and you're feeling the frustration that a lot of people in Vietnam must feel. Our main recommendations were uh, to look at sort of a more integrated approach to water management or the management of water resources in Ho Chi Minh City and that included like looking at a decentralised approach to the way it is currently tackled. Broad recommendations that depending on the place they could pick up our report and say oh that applies to us, that applies to us. What we have created is something that is uh, valuable um, and that people who can read it, it can sort of plant the seeds. Yeah, it was just incredible to think that we'd come through that whole process and to actually have had the report, you know, bound and in your hands. It was, yeah, that was, that was certainly an achievement. These two weeks in Vietnam were just high pressure and that final day with the presentation and the, the four people that did the presentation just were amazing and I was so proud. Um, I think all of us underestimated how much work was actually involved in a project like this. There was no break from it really. I mean, we had meetings all day, then we had our own meetings all night, and then go home and you know I'd, I'd be dreaming about the report. Like there was just no rest from it. So that was that was challenging. That was exhausting. There were areas that I didn't understand, sort of relating science and engineering, and it was quite difficult for me to stay sort of focused. I didn't quite understand what direction we were taking, and I wanted to contribute as much as I could. I felt like I wasn't quite getting there. It changed every day. We went this way. We went that way. It was very frustrating just sitting there waiting for these people to come to an agreement. Someone would come up, no, what about this, this, this? I'm like, oh my God, we're never going to finish this on time. It's always enjoyable to hear someone who's passionate about something go against someone who's passionate about another thing. It just broadens your whole outlook on things. We had to sort of refrain ourselves a little bit, um, otherwise we could have been writing for years, I think. I see the project more as a people project, as in it's not so much about what your end goal is, it's more working together as a team in that multidisciplinary environment, just because it does reflect what the workplace is meant to be. It's completely out of any sort of university experience, whether it be Australia or overseas. Getting people with an environmental background to, to work together and see the bigger issues. It's like a little training camp for the real world. It's probably opened me up to the idea of maybe I could work overseas, um, which I probably didn't really think about before. It, the Vietnam project offered me the professional experience, which I'm using a lot now in um, so grad interviews or vacation interviews. It certainly helped me to know that I can at least function as a professional in the environment industry, like I can work with other professionals and, and, and be like, yeah, be a professional basically. It just goes to show that, you know, the skills that we are learning here are we are able to use in an in international context as well. Um, oh, big question. That's the surprise question, isn't it? One word, that's too hard. I've, I've got many words, I'm just trying to get this one. I think maybe unexpected. Eye-opening, maybe? Unique. Fun. Rewarding. Challenging, but that doesn't give, I don't think that does the project justice. <laughs>